Well, welcome back here on your Friday yet again. Another day where we are tracking severe storms. If you look at your first forecast, 54 at bedtime. Now for many of us, the best chance of storms will come after 10 o'clock. Should clear out by morning at 42 degrees. A little chilly there. 53 by noon. I think by Saturday and Sunday afternoon, though, we've got some pretty decent weather on the way. Unfortunately, it's a severe weather threat tonight. It is a severe weather threat on Monday. Once we get past Monday, the rest of next week looks fairly calm, a little cooler by the end of the week. The end of your seven day forecast is uh, a little bit on the chilly side, but we've already seen the line of thunderstorms developing out in the western part of the state. You can see it stretching from Valentine all the way down into the southwest part of the state. And we've had uh, one warning for Keith County, and that's where we have some of the stronger storms right now. Uh, just about to enter Lincoln County might see some 50 mile per hour wind gusts a little bit of hail out of that cell and then just to the south of Ogallala that line of storms a little on the strong side as well. So we have our slight risk of severe weather, you know, interstate southward essentially and that's a two out of the five on the threat level marginal risk outside of that shaded in green. As these storms move into kind of southwest south central areas, they will start to have a little more moisture to work with and that should kind of up the intensity a little bit of these storms. So as we kind of work our way through, give you a timeline here of what we're expecting. By 8 o'clock, those storms stretching from O'Neill back down towards Curtis and McCook and then moving through the Tri-City. So 11 o'clock, by 11 o'clock, that leading edge of the storms is kind of through the Tri-Cities, but still could be seeing some locally heavy rainfall on the backside of these storms. They'll then continue to work their way east. You see now here we are at 3 a.m. The storm's still going through uh, Lincoln and Beatrice before clearing out early Saturday morning. Our primary threat tonight will be strong winds, 60 to 70 mile per hour winds possibility. We could mix in a little bit of a hail threat and the tornado threat is not zero. It's low, but with this line of storms that's going to come through, it won't be out of the question for a little spin up. OK, so that's what's coming in tonight. This is what's coming in on Monday and Monday is a little more of a dynamic system. Now we are still several days out. We're not trying to get anybody in a panic here or anything like that. We just want you alert and aware that we are tracking a storm system that should have much more in the way of moisture to work with uh, dry line that'll be moving through and we're going to have to watch kind of the middle of Monday afternoon for what could be more severe weather. In fact, Storm Prediction Center still has a large part of the viewing area uh, which would be kind of a slight risk, so to speak, and an enhanced risk has been added in south central locations. Last note on this, we're still several days out, but when we've already got these areas kind of like this highlighted, it really grabs your attention, and we just want to make sure everybody pays attention to Monday's weather because it could get a little interesting. 76 degrees in McCook right now, 73 in Kearney, 75 in Heber, and there's your cold front working through the sand hills right now. It's very windy as well. Gusts of 35 to even 40 miles per hour out in Imperial. The winds will stay strong tonight and then gradually let up by tomorrow afternoon. 42 for the low tonight in the Tri-Cities. We're looking about 9 to midnight for our time frame for these storms to roll through. 63 tomorrow. We will clear out, but it will be quite a bit cooler than today. And tomorrow night, clear and quiet for a change at 41 degrees. 41 in Kearney tonight, 34 in Imperial, 46 in York. You'll be looking at temps tomorrow, low 60s. And by the afternoon, the wind should calm down. So I, I think it's going to be uh, a pretty decent day. Sunday looks pretty quiet at 68. We watch Monday for that chance of severe weather, 72 Tuesday, and then slowly tailing off with some slight chances for rain and Dave Colleen, by the end of next week, a little bit on the cool side there mm. uh, at 59. But first, we got to get through tonight and Monday, and we'll keep everybody posted. Yes. Thank you, Tim.